evening all. Good evening also. We're about to start, but I'd like to introduce the master of ceremony first. So everyone, please meet Tamara Dickens. Sir Kenneth Balls. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, I'm Calvin. I'm sure you remember me. No, I don't. You know, you're so embarrassed. And this man himself, the one that we don't know. You are, sir? And you are, sir? Am I? I am the some people don't know who you is. I am Clinton Hutton. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. I was speaking on this evening. Uh -huh. But you have an illustrious title. Oh, I'm Professor of Caribbean Political Philosophy, Culture and Aesthetics. <laughs> I am Director of the Institute of Technological and Educational Research at Michael Yes, sir. I'm a um, Distinguished Fellow at the P.J. Patterson Institute at the University of West Virginia. I'm an artist. Yes, sir. Photography. Yes, sir. Painting, painting then. Are the marriage is there. Uh, I'm a poet. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. No, you and you, I'm going to speak with. I got 50 terabytes of stuff we need to talk about. <laughs> She's out of game. Sir, our Father, bless
But the ordinary teachers at those Oakville schools, many of them who went to Michael, um, is just, there's nothing else to compare it with. You know? And we have those outstanding persons from all walks of life, um, from the 19th century into the 20th century. And the good thing about them is that they did not allow colonial education to have its day without any resistance to it. And, and including also people outside of tre teacher training colleges and, and, and primary and secondary schools. You have the informal system um, of education, um, both from the, the folk as well as from those who have been schooled, like Phil Afflius um, Strauss, um, who was a medical doctor um, and went to Africa, um, but has written his opus, two volumes called Glimpses of the Ages, very, very important publications. The first one came out in 1905 and the second one in 1907. And of course, I would put in front in terms of the philosophical direction of education, the role that God played. And he himself was, was shaped um, by Robert Love through the, the, the advocate newspaper that Love founded in uh, the last decade of the 19th century. In fact, Garvey actually said that if, if, if Dr. Love was, was here, um, it would not be him mark because there would be stolen, it would be love. And so, so, so the education system that we have inherited from Britain informally and formally, that system was to promote British interests. That system was to promote uh, a subordination in the feelings and belief system of the people who were colonized and so on. So um, what we're going to see, what was left out of this education thing and what um, still left out to a large extent. And, um, but how we need to really deal with these things. Um, because there was a fear, I mean, in, in 1962, you know, one of the first things that happened was the, the abolition of Emancipation Day. <laughs> that happened in 1962. And it was, what, 1987? Under P.J. Patterson, that that was re, re, re instituted. Emancipation Day was. But in fact, the government didn't have any education system because the church that did it. And when they did regulation, it was the church that got it. But then, of course, it stopped. And the schools had to close. But, so the first issue was access. Who could go to a school? And. Um, I was expecting to say more about that uh, because you say, of course, it's denied to do that. That's one issue is access. Second issue is the content. And you suggest that content made the students feel inferior. And I'm saying to myself, um, let's take mathematics, for example. You said that probably on this. So the map at Cambridge and did well. Um, I don't know if there's a, a white mathematics or a black mathematics, but if we were to have uh, change the type.